Jumping right into this video, here are some of the things you'll need when doing these five simple hairstyles. And you guys, right before we get started, make sure you hit that red subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to my channel. And don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. And so you guys, I've already started. I'm just sectioning off my hair in the middle and just making sure both sides are even. And then I'm going to part it down the middle because I want two different sections within that section. Now I'm going to part this section one more time and I'm going to put it into a ponytail using my rubber band. I'm going to take a small amount of gel and lay the front part of my hair down. Once I finish that ponytail, I'm going to do another section on the other side and do the exact same thing. Okay, now I have those two sections and I'm parting another section behind that one and I will begin to connect the ponytails to the different sections. When you begin to connect the sections, you're just going to do a crisscross and just connect it just like you would do any other ponytail with the rubber band. And then once I finish this side, I will do the other side and then you'll be finished. You should have something like an X in the top of your head. I'm finished connecting all the sections and that's the X I was talking about earlier and then I'm just going to take my hair loose in the back and basically I'm finished I'm going to lay my edges down a little and then I added some clips just for decoration because I thought it was so cute hey okay, guys moving on to hairstyle number two I'm going to keep the same X in the top of my head and I'm just going to put it up into a ponytail but not just any ponytail I'm just going to fake like the long ponytail I'm going to pin the sides up and then I'm going to leave some down in the back in the very middle so you can't tell that I'm leaving some down. I'm just going to pin this top part up just to hold it out of the way so that I can pin the back part down so I can hold that part out of the way. I know it's kind of confusing but you guys will see. But this is what I mean by leaving some out in the middle. And then right here I'm just putting this in a neat ponytail so the look can come together. And now I'm just taking the scrunchie off the back. And here's how the ponytail looks from the side. I just want to add some clips on to this hairstyle also. But this is it. Hairstyle number two. Very cute and simple. Finishing up with hairstyle number two. I'm just going to put my hair to the side and then part a section off on the side. Once I finish part of my hair, I'm going to make another section and then I'm just going to rubber band that part. I'm parting another section and then I'm going to part that section into two smaller sections, like two squares. Then the hair from the first section, I'm just going to divide that in two and put it in one of the squares. Then the leftover hair from the first ponytail is going to be connected to this square. And all the hair that's left over from the sections, I'm just going to put together in one rubber band. This part is optional because it is a little tricky. Um, you're just going to plait your hair slowly down in the front and make sure all your hair is brought up to the front. And then you're just going to continue to plait and pick up hair. It's almost like braiding, but like a loose braid. Um, you guys can opt out of this, but I just thought it was cute and give the hairstyle a little bit more pizzazz. You can't just comb your hair over into a swoop and it'll still kind of give the same effect. But I'm just going to continue to plait it all the way down. And then I'm just going to keep picking up hair until I make one big plait on the side.
Okay guys, I finished plaiting the hair all the way down. I'm using a rubber band just to hold it in place. And this is what you get, a cute side braid look with cute rubber band action on the side. Okay, using the same style almost, and I'm just gonna put it into a side ponytail. So that way you can wear it in a side ponytail or a side plait. I think both are cute. And then we have this look, which is style number four. this last style I'm just part of the middle section again just like the first um, style and here I'm parting it again straight across I'm just going to make a ponytail in the front right there at that part this section off I'm going to make another section the same as that way I made the first one And here I'm just taking a butterfly clip just to hold this section out of the way while I plait the first ponytail. And once I finish plaiting it all the way down, I'm just going to connect it to the second section. And here I'm creating a third section. It's just really to make sure everything is parted off right in the back. And then I'm going to connect all of the ponytails together with that last section to make one whole ponytail. And here I'm going to wrap my hair in a ball and I'm going to use the butterfly clips to hold it in place and just to give it some extra cuteness. And this is it for the last style. I thought it was really cute. And you guys can curl your hair if you want to, but I didn't want to put any extra heat on my hair just because I'm making this video for you guys and I'm not really going anywhere today. You guys, this is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and please share this video if you like it. And I will see you guys in the next one.